Hey guys, I'm back with another uh, quick video tutorial on basically how to create a raster toolpath instead of a pocket toolpath to surface stock. Now, this will not work if you're surfacing your wasteboard. Um, so I'm going to start off here in Carbide Create and I have my stock set up as 10 inches by 6 inches. So I'm going to go over to Inkscape, it's a free download, great software. And I'm going to click here on Create Rectangles and Squares, and I'm just going to draw a rectangle. Next, I'm going to come up here to the top and change the units from millimeters or whatever yours happens to be on to inches. And we're going to change the, the width to 11.25. If you remember, our stock was 10 inches. And our height was 6 inches. We're going to make that 7.25. And just click Tab or click anywhere. Um, next we're going to come up to edit and go to resize page to selection and that's basically going to make this white page here the same size as the rectangle and that ensures when you save this that everything inside the rectangle is saved so next we're going to go to extensions and it's under at these axi draw utilities and it's called hatch fill it's also under Eggbot, uh, the Eggbot extension, and it's also called Hatch Fill. So click on that, and it'll bring up this dialog box where you set up the, the, the size of your hatch. And right now I have mine set at 0.5 inches, so my surfacing bit is 1 inch. My, I'm basically creating a step over of 50% of the bit, or half an inch. Next, we're going to click on this uh, Connect Nearby Ends, make sure that's checkmarked. And hit apply and we get something that looks like that. I'm going to save that. I'm going to do save as and uh, just whatever you want to name it. Just remember the name and then come back to carbide create and import that and you get something that looks like that. Click on the rectangle and delete it and then uh, we're going to select this hatch and just center it on our stock. And then we're going to create a toolpath. It's going to be a contour and no offset. I'll change my, my depth to 0 0.01 using the McFly bit. Click OK. And basically what you have here is uh, this circle. is a, It's a one inch circle. Make sure. Yep, one inch circle. So it represents the diameter of the bit that I'm going to be using and basically what that does is it takes uh, the center of the bit will ride along this line and you see when it makes its turns when it starts and when it ends and when it makes its turns it is off the stock so the reason I did this is because I'm sure I I have my feeds and speeds wrong for my for my surfacing bit but whenever I use it on hardwood I tend to get burning uh, like burn marks in the corners where it's um, when it's when it's making the turns, it's a bit slows down enough that it just burns the wood there. It's it's nothing I can't sand out, but I came up with this to solve that problem. Anyway, I hope this helps somebody. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.